What's going on guys? How's everyone been doing? I hope everyone's been uh, safe and healthy over the last few months. It's been uh, some crazy times and uh, especially with everything that's been going on. Since I've had the car painted, they've done a few changes here and there. Uh, nothing too drastic, but uh, I don't think I've ever gone over them in like previous videos. So I figured now would be a good time to make a, a little bit of an update video. Okay, so let's start off with the color of the car. I had the car painted uh, the color of the Porsche GT3 RS. Uh, the reason I went with this color is because it's not actually like a complicated color. It is a drift car, so if ever uh, anything happened to like the body kit or something, uh, there's no pearls or, or metallics in it, so it will be easy to match. I changed up the wheels. I've actually had these wheels for quite some time. I got them for uh, quite a good deal. Got them before I actually got the car. They're actually my favorite wheels. That are Rega Master uh, Marquis Pramods, along with the Moon Eyes caps. They're uh, 17 by 9 plus 38 square. Uh, these have some Federal RSR 255 40 17s. Um, the fronts have a five mil spacer just so the wheels can clear the brakes. Also, I did a carbon fiber hood from Sabon. Got a really good deal uh, from our homie at JD Motoring. And uh, for the hood to fit, I had to change out to the GTR hood latch. Thanks to Paulo for the hood latch. And the body kit is uh, is a BN Sports uh, a rep kit. Don't hate. <laughs> okay, I also changed up the Brid brick seat out for a Brid. Uh, I think this is the Brid Vios threes. Uh, I really wasn't too happy with how the uh, the other seat was when drifting. Uh, still had quite a bit of movement. Um, while I was going sideways. I also changed out the Nardi wood grain wheel for a leather version. Uh, I did like the wood, but I feel like this suits the car more. Okay, so considering the lack of cup holders, uh, I had a friend 3D print one of these cup holders that fit in the center console. Um, this is actually a little bit nicer, more sturdier compared to the vent style ones that everyone runs. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever showed this before, but uh, I had a friend a while back fab up a fire single ship rocket. Uh, it's nice and bolt on so you don't have to screw anything into like the tunnel or whatever else people typically do um, for fire extinguishers. Um, nothing's really changed under the hood. Uh, I am planning on having these intercooler piping redone, um, hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, I just hate how the stock piping looks and just trying to make it look a little cleaner, nicer. Also, on my future plans, I do plan to buy a Link ECU. Um, I want to get the car retuned and, you know, I want to delete the map, uh, you know, go uh, speed density, uh, maybe E85, I don't know. I'm not sure if uh, my injectors would hold that or not. Probably not, since they're only 550s, but um, I guess we'll see. All right, so that's gonna be my little update for the car. Nothing too crazy. The only thing I'm really planning to do is to just go out and enjoy it. Uh, I have a drift event coming up and most likely uh, we're shredding some tires or a lot of tires. And hopefully nothing breaks. I'll keep my fingers crossed on that one. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Mm-hmm.